Jean-Michel Cousteau is hanging out at one of the hottest night spots in the Cayman Islands. Trading in his tuxedo and dress shoes for a form-fitting wetsuit and flippers, he's diving into an alternative kind of nightlife. This is the wreck of the Russian frigate 356. Here, divers party with the fish and urchins and explore the mysteries of the sunken ship. But how did it get here? Well, it was no accident. Two years ago, this destroyer went to the bottom of the sea as part of a special project to create an artificial reef. Stripped down and cleaned up, it sank to the sandy shelf with one passenger aboard. You guessed it, Jean-Michel Cousteau. He hoped that his dramatic gesture would help bring divers to the new underwater attraction. Quickly nicknamed the Destroyer at Peace, it has become a popular dive destination in the Caymans. That was the plan because more divers on the destroyer means less divers on nearby natural reefs, and that helps them stay healthy and strong. But there's more to the story. Over time, the wreck itself will be transformed into an artificial reef. Jean-Michel Cousteau is back to observe nature's handiwork. A lot has happened in the last two years. The ship's name can no longer be read. Part of the superstructure has collapsed. The crow's nest Jean-Michel rode to the bottom lies in pieces on the ocean floor. The star that proudly adorned the prow is practically invisible. Most importantly, the ship is becoming more and more popular with the undersea crowd. At first glance, there doesn't seem to be much life aboard. But closer inspection reveals a new crew. Over 40 different species of swimming and crawling underwater creatures and countless varieties of attached species like corals and sponges and algae now man the sunken ship. These tiny corals are the pioneers, getting an early start on transforming the ship into a beautiful coral reef. But these patches of algae are just as important, because algae is the anchor of the underwater food chain. Where there's algae, you'll find urchins. These are among the first permanent residents. The ship's doctor is gone, but the surgeon fish remains, feeding on the algae. Some of these tiny specks are plankton, another fundamental part of the food chain. Feeding on plankton, these fish, called chromis, now man the radar tower. This new crew doesn't have any officers, but it does have a pair of sergeant majors, a type of damselfish. These sergeant majors have found a place to lay their purplish eggs. You can see the eggs on the hull behind the little fish, and they defend their eggs with all fins on deck. With so much change happening in just two years, what will the destroyer look like 10 years from now? Probably a lot like this wreck, which sank nearby about 10 years ago. Overgrown with beautiful corals and sponges, parts of the ship itself seem to have almost disappeared. That's not just an optical illusion. Seawater is slowly oxidizing the metal hull, causing it to corrode and collapse. Already, the destroyer is cracking down the middle. It's almost broken in two. That's good news for the new crew of the destroyer, because as their ship falls apart, they have new places to live and hide. As a new reef is born, this destroyer at peace is quickly becoming a destroyer in pieces. <laughs>